so welcome back to another experiment trumpet fish coming in for inspection i decided to do wild caught salmon fillets on the bottom and it was crazy because at first nothing was interested except this tiny, tiny little puffer fish was curious but i just think he liked the color and i was shocked because for the first like five minutes none of the fish came around to take a bite they would all look at it but none of them took a bite and I thought, you know, this is ridiculous. Maybe I have to just break it up a little bit. And watch what happens with that one little move. Just breaking off a few pieces of the salmon. Now they come around. Well, what is this? Can the fish not bite off pieces of another fish themselves? Like, this is crazy. When I've done these underwater experiments, the fish want the food broken up before they'll come in to eat. <laughs> I didn't know saltwater fish were this picky. But even after I did that, they still dispersed, They even after that little breakup. So I thought maybe if I pounded on a little bit, got it really broken up, they'd start coming in. And sure enough, the damselfish are first on the scene. Those little black and white ones are called damselfish. Then a red goatfish, that little bottom feeder comes in. Those striped ones are called sergeant fish. And that is what it took before they finally started coming over and taking bites. So they wanted it broken up. I do have this theory, though, that since wild salmon aren't exactly a thing in Hawaii, maybe that's why the fish didn't go for it at first. It's They, they smell it as, like, some potential food. They, they see it visually. It looks good. They'll come over and look at it. But since they don't know what it is, they won't bite it. And until it's broken up, until all that oil comes out into the water, then they'll go for it. I, I kind of thought that you could just put fish flays on the bottom. They tear it apart. Hawkfish coming in. That's that one laying on the bottom. They are ferocious. Watch him. He took off his little pound of flesh there. Just took one bite. It also surprises me how... Um, I pounded it one more time. It also surprises me how uh, polite some fish are. They'll come and take one bite. Even the eels sometimes will come and take one bite and then leave. But that started the feeding frenzy. But I'm wondering if you have to get the oils of this kind of foreign fish going in the water in order to... Uh, trumpet fish being a jerk there. Not sure what that was about. But you have to get the oils of the fish going before they will start uh, feeding on it. The trumpet fish is chilling. He never took a bite that I could see, but he liked hovering over it, hovering around it. Those are little butterfly fish, those yellow and white ones. And in the in the background there, check out, a mora eel smells it. This is after about, oh, 15 or 20 minutes. And guys, this footage, I think, is proof that more eels are blind. Watching some of this footage, I kind of had a theory about it, but I think this proves it. Look how hard a time this guy has finding it. And check out over here. A little more eel comes over. He's like, uh, uh, no. And he's scared. Gets scared off. I would be scared too if, if that big one was uh, in the area. But look at it. Look how hard a time he has finding it. Finally. Look at it from this angle. Like, th these guys to are totally blind. A nice bright pink piece of salmon. And he's sniffing around everywhere for it. I'm guessing they can they can smell a drop of blood in the water like a shark, but they can't see for nothing. So he finds it, and it's game over. But look at all the fish hanging around. They're not scared of the eel. He's going to tear it apart. And look at he's trying to chase them off. But as he tries to tear it apart, he also throws all those little pieces everywhere, and the fish are close by to eat them up. He kind of starts a... A feeding frenzy. So he tore off a couple of pieces. I cut up the salmon into strips in case something like this happened. And uh, he was kind of tearing them off of the wires one by one. So I had to swim over to get the action here. Look at this. This guy is fierce. Man, you wouldn't want him to, like, latch onto your foot or your hand and, and do the death roll like that. Man, especially the ones that get big. I mean, that's a small mora eel. Four mora eels, they get six or seven feet long. Uh, and, and, you know, three times that thick. And then, look, here's more proof that they're blind. I'm sure of it. Look at he can't find it. Look how hard it is. It's right in front of his face. He has, he's sniffing, you can tell he's sniffing in the water to find it. Last piece. Pulls it off the wire, and that's it. I think he burps up a piece right here. Uh. Yeah, right there for the fish to get. But comes in, breaks up the party. That That is so, 
so cool. W what a crazy experiment. Was not expecting any of that for the fish to wait for it to be broken up. Um, but there you go. Eels love salmon. Guys, if you enjoy this type of content and want to watch another episode, click uh, on the screen there or check out the description for more videos just like this. Thanks for watching.